Hey. Y'all know I had to do something on this, dog. You you absolutely know Frederick Hawthorne, anti-boxing establishment, speak the truth. And I'm about to talk about Earl the Truth Spence. He said, we got to do something about the sanctioning bodies. And I always get detractors that say, Fred, why don't you do something about it? I am. I was a, a boxing journalist. I'm doing my job. I am not a promoter. I am not a manager. I am a journalist. I am a I am supposed to highlight boxing and tell the truth. Right. And I only can show you examples of how I do it in my life. Everybody know how shrewd Frederick is, whether you're my friend, whether you're in boxing, whether I trained you in the NBA, whether you're some of my celebrity friends, whether you're my family members, whether you're my friends, everybody know how Fred, how shrewd Fred is and how much he protects his brand and how much he believes in independence. Independence. So I've turned down most a lucrative deal three or four months ago seven figure deal but I, I wanted to give this video context so you guys understand I am a full time father right now because of the decisions that I made in my 20s and my 30s and Fred what decisions did you make I never allowed a middleman. I understood if I allow a middleman in my life that is 30% off the top and I gotta pay Uncle Sam on 100%. You guys understand what I'm saying? So in boxing terms, speaking of Earl Spence, Earl Spence, you gotta pay the sanctioning bodies, you gotta pay Al Heyman, you gotta pay the networks, you gotta pay uh, 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 the commission. The commission gets eight to 10% of the, of the total purse. You know what I mean? And um, oh, case in point. Full-time father. Lincoln, where we going? Basketball practice. Going to basketball practice. I'm about to go train Lincoln. And the point I want to make is the reason why I am a full-time father and get paid handsomely through the decisions I made in my 20s to be a full-time father is because I never allowed many middlemen. You guys, you guys have been following, many of you guys have been following me for years. You know there is no middlemen in Fred Alive. I choose to offer my time now. And, and, and this is the point I want to hit home with you fighters. The reason why you pay the sanctioning bodies is because there's at least, now let's just say there's multiple hands that touch your check before you do. You don't have power over your check. You don't go to Showtime or what's the parent company now? You don't go to Paramount Global does not hand you a check. One of Al Heyman's employees, after you take that piss test, hands you a check so you know how many hands it has to go through to get the to get that way paramount global al Heyman, tgb the commission and then earl spence so we got to flip flop the paradigm in the perfect scenario which is what i did that's why i produced my own films put up my own money wrote my own books put up the own money put up my own money sold my own house had 40 real estate agents calling me trying to sell my house. I said, nah, 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 I'm good. I'm gonna save this $65,000, whatever it was. You get what I'm saying? So, and all my properties, I don't have to give them 5%. I negotiate all the way down to sometimes less than two. Most cases, less than two. I have a portfolio. They wanna work with me. I leverage who I am and what I've created. Earl Spence, you running those miles. Terrence Crawford, you running those miles. This is what I've been preaching for the longest time, and I know I pissed y'all off. I'm, I'm not going to waver from the truth. There's only one answer, the truth. That's it. It's not your answer. It's not my answer. It's always the truth. And as a 45-year-old man, I've come to understand that. So we got to flip-flop the paradigm. Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford, y'all get the money. You pay Al Heyman. Al Heyman pays the network. Al Heyman pays TGB. It comes out of what you pay Al Heyman. And they figure it out. We got to flip-flop the paradigm. I am a living example of flip-flopping the paradigm. That's why y'all hate me now. And it's okay. Because the what, am I, what I'm about to do right now... Lincoln, where are we going? Basketball practice. Who's about to train you? You. 
Exactly. Simply put, the goal is to be a full-time father. The goal is to be a full-time family man. That is the goal. The goal ain't to have a Showtime logo on you. The goal ain't to have, say, I work for Bob Arrow. No. If you want to procreate, the goal is to be a full-time father. I understood that. I came from everything opposite of that. And I chose not to be that. Now, in boxing in 2023, when fighters can create absolute power, you have the option to do that. You need to pay Al Heyman, and Al Heyman need to stop paying you. And for all you people that say I'm anti, you need to pay Bob Arum, and Bob Arum don't need to pay you. Do you get it? Everything needs to funnel through Spence Crawford LLC. I repeat, everything in this promotion should have went through Spence Crawford LLC. Don't nobody love Spence and Crawford more than they love themselves. Self-preservation is the law of the what? Land. So I'm about to get out of here. Lincoln and I are about to go to the gym. Say peace to the people, man. Peace. <laughs> and let me tell you, I got I got the best eighth grader in the world. I mean, the best eight-year-old in the world. Who's the best eight-year-old in the world, Lincoln? Exactly. You got to breathe confidence into your kids no matter what. I'm going. Peace.